it's Lauren with Beadbox Bargains and today we're going to take a look at some new and upcoming items that will be on our website beadboxbargains.com starting today, Monday the 2nd, running through Friday the 6th. So first of all, I am very excited we managed to get a restock on some of these vintage Chet glass beads we've had and we've got these gorgeous teardrops back in stock and they are top drilled side to side and we've got these mocha swirl ones that um, vary quite a bit. Here's another one so you can kind of see the variation there. You have the like swirl of the tan in with the dark topaz. It's really pretty. And then of course we've got the opaque pink. And then this one is a white opal with, um, with a pink, I believe it's a pink topaz coat on top. So very pretty. We've also got these really cool uh, textured ovals back. So I'm excited about that. I love them. They are sold four per bag. I'm going to put three out, leave one in the bag so that when I go to put it away, I know what goes where. And we have them in this deep cherry red too. And also this pink. Look at this. Lovely. These are so gorgeous. The colors on these are just so vivid. And we also have some new shapes. With these ovals which are a frosted pink AB so you've got the AB finish on one side they're so pretty I'm gonna put them over here make some room because I've got a lot of chat glass to show you today we have some gorgeous things in this week and look at this it's a little like pink opal flower with a Picasso finish around the edges and in this little rose shape and then you've got your top drill hole front to back there. So cute and delicate. I love that piece. Also back in stock, we have some bell flowers. This is the white opal. I'm going to show you in my hand because it will sort of disappear against the background there. And um, the opal glass, it just has the semi-translucence and this sort of like multicolor sheen to it, which... I like like when you look through it you see not just white but also like orangish flashes really pretty and um, we also have bell flowers a couple other colors including this gorgeous light amethyst look at that they are sold 10 pieces per bag but again I'm leaving one or two in the bag so that when I go to put it away it isn't a complete madhouse these are a beautiful light blue opal. Look at those. So lovely. Here. Put them on my hand so you can have a little more contrast. They're so pretty. It's such a pale, delicate color. All right. Ooh, we also have these like almond Picasso. I think those are so pretty. The Picasso finish adds so much. This bell shape is great for earrings it's great for little drops i really really like that or you can use it as a bead cap on either side of a round bead so these are new look at this fun like twisty pillow shape and this is going to be your pink satin color so you're going to have um kind of a line around the center you've got like this really neat almost cat's eye finish you will get four of them i am just getting three out here. And we also have the shape in a pink opal. And this is a gorgeous pink opal. It's like a raspberry pink. Look at that. It's so pretty. And we have a smaller version of the pink opal too. And these are sold eight per bag. So I'm only getting six out, but you will get eight of them. It's just such a fun shape. Slightly lumpy, but in like a, I don't know, way that makes you want to touch it and spin it and play with it. Those are fun. Then we've got this top drilled pink triangle. Lots of pretty pink this week. Those look nice together. And check out these coins. These are like a, I can't tell if it's a red satin or a pink satin mix. I think it's kind of in between, like a reddish pink satin color in there swirled with crystal. So you get some really interesting patterns and signs with these. Even though they're just a really smooth, flat coin, I like that you have a lot going on 
with the swirl inside each coin. Those are really cool. And also vintage, we have some of these rectangles. And these are cool, they're slightly twisted rectangles. I hadn't actually seen these before. I really like that shape. I believe that's from our vintage stock. And here's some crystal with a blue luster. It's very cute. And then we have those in tortoise shell too. Look at that. All right, next we have a whole, whole bunch of gorgeous leaves coming. So these are sold 10 per bag. And we have them in so many colors. This is a really cool mix of colors. It's like this opaque uh, cornflower blue and then like a, is that a topaz? Like a, I think that's maybe a gray, like a smoked topaz. You will get 10 per bag, but I'm just showing you a few so that there's so many bags, keeping track of everything. If I don't leave a couple beads in the bags, trying to get them all back in the right place is a headache. And these are cool. These have, um, they both got like that rose gold sort of coppery wash. And um, this is a green and turquoise blue mix. So pretty. Love that one. And here's a turquoise and like a champagne type yellow. It might be actually be the same thing as, as the other, like that green and turquoise. It's just got the gold veining on it. And it's interesting how much of a difference that makes here. Let me hold it over here so you can see between the, the copper and the gold here. Sorry if I was out of frame for a minute there. I got carried away. I may have to pick this up in a second. I am, um, there's just, there's so many pretty things. I'm gonna try to get through the leaves and then I'll clear the mat. <gasps> Look at these. These are like a topaz and almond, again, with that rose gold wash. Those are very fall. I don't know about y'all, but I am looking forward to fall weather. I appreciate summer. It's fun. It's been here for a while and I'm ready, ready for some cool breezes. Okay, look at those. So this is a red with a little bit of that like light topaz mixed in and a gold wash. So pretty. Okay, so these are just turquoise with an AB finish. And it is um, AB on one side. So you can choose whether you want the really sparkly side or the turquoise showing. <laughs> And then next, ooh, we have like a semi-opaque teal with that coppery wash there. I love all the veining. And this is such a fun shape. They're all top drilled front to back. They make great earring drops. There's just, there's so many fun things you can do. All right, I'm gonna kind of squish my beads together here, make some room, because we have, we have more to come. Ooh, these are pretty. These are just a nice translucent, like olivine with that rose gold. Actually, yeah, that's rose gold. I guess and that's more of a copper. I will make sure that I look at all the numbers and get all, them all labeled correctly because sometimes the studio lights are bright and I'm looking at things, trying to figure out what they are. But yeah, that's the rose gold. And then I think that's more of a copper. Maybe it's just a darker rose gold. We'll figure it out before while we're making the listings. These are pretty. It's like almost a chartreuse, like that really vivid uh, lime color. Love that. And then, ooh, these are pretty. And these leaves are not vintage. These are newer stock. I actually had them made um, for like as a request, because I love this leaf shape. Look at these. These are really pretty. Some of them and others were just overstock and special offers, but I love them all. That golden shimmer is really pretty. Ooh, this is again, so this is like a rose gold shimmer over that same kind of vivid lime underneath. Those are stunning love check glass all the different coatings and colors there's nothing quite like it 
All right, just a few more leaves. So these are an alabaster with like a gold shimmer and sort of a Picasso-y look to them. Those were really cool. And then these are, I think this might be one of the spice finishes. It's really gorgeous. Look at that. I love the way that the veining on these leaves captures the coating so well. It creates a lot of visual interest. Put those down there. And then the final set of leaves that we have is going to be these, and I believe this is the chili pink. There's two pink spice washes, and I get them confused sometimes. There's ginger pink and chili pink. This, this is one of those two. <laughs> I'll have to look at the numbers and figure it out. Okay. Well, all right, I've got just a few more here that I'm going to try to cram all together since I'm lazy. I don't want to clean up until I have to. But look at these. This is the new shape for us. This is the pressed glass rose. And these are stunning. This is a deep red, and it looks like they've got almost like a blue luster over top of it, which really defines all those gorgeous rose petals. And they'll be sold two per bag. And then here's what it looks like with just a simple shimmer finish. So this is the red rose with just a shimmer finish on it. You can see I love that shape. And the drill hole runs here to here so you could string it like that or like that I think I like it like this very pretty and then we also have a rose with the AB finish on it look at that so pretty I love that rose shape it's got so much detail Ooh, I love the rose with these leaves actually that's really pretty getting some Beauty and the Beast vibes makes me happy. All right, I'm going to clean this up and then we're going to take a look at some um, jump rings and pendants. Okay, so back in stock, we have some of these super popular jump ring mixes where you get rings sized four millimeters to 10 millimeters. They are randomly assorted. Um, and these are the antique copper, gold, we have them in gunmetal now and then we've also got bronze and silver tones so just kind of restocking those they've been super popular and i'm trying to do my best to keep them around for y'all we also have some that are going to be more like here's a single size like six millimeters but you get mixed colors and i see copper in there i see a lot of gold silver gunmetal and some bronze, so lots of different colors in a single size, or all the same color in different sizes. So we've got mixes both ways, just trying to restock those jump rings. And we'll also have more Coriana chain. We'll finally have more of the gold chain, plus some silver finish and rose gold finish. So there's gonna be a chain 6.1, 617, and 609 respectively. And then um, all of our jump ring mixes are going up and we're going to have some fun pendants. Ah, one of these is spilling. Two of these are spilling. Good job, Lauren. <laughs> okay. We'll just pretend that that didn't happen. <clears throat> ah, there we are. Okay. So pendants. So back in stock by popular demand we have these little porcelain birds they are glazed everyone's a little bit different they've got a cute little loop at the top they're just so rustic feeling and fun and we've got them in this light blue and then also this pink they're so sweet i really love those just super adorable so we have those also coming up we have some more of these um like simple but really elegant. I like the finish around the side here. Let me take one out so you can see. Doo -doo -doo. Here's the shell. These oval pendants. Oh, that's a really pretty natural shell. And it does have some resin over top the shell to protect it. 
but it is really lovely. But yeah, you've got this fancy little, almost looks like a, a crown sort of edging there. And we have that in green adventuring as well. Also back in stock, we have these fun um, sun pendants with a shell background. Let me open this one to show you. Sorry if that's crinkly, doing my best here. Okay, and um, this one is gonna be dyed yellow, like a nice really golden yellow. And we also have blue, and then just the regular bleached white shell. So these are fun shell pendants. Ooh, look at this. This one's cute. Got this little sun and a moon with a little lapis stone in it. So, so cute there. I really like that one. And now, ooh, I love dragonflies. Every time I see dragonflies, I buy dragonflies. I, it's just, it's not even optional for me. Look at these. Aren't they cute? You've got that cubic zirconia in the center, two little black cubic zirconia eyes, some peve set, cubic zirconia on the wings. I love that dragonfly, he's so cute. This one's cute too. So just such nice quality, look at that. You've got teeny tiny little cubic zirconia eyes and again, some inset on the wings too. I think those are adorable and there they are next to each other so you can see how they compare size wise, pretty similar. And we have this cute little, cute little butterfly that's made up out of like two joined hearts with just teeny tiny little CZ accents there, little cubic zirconia. And I like that it has a loop on both sides. It could be a cute little focal link on a delicate chain. Let's see, we've also, oh, I like these. We've also got these pine cones. Ooh, those are fancy. So I think this is an 18 karat gold finish. I will check my uh, receipts there and make sure when I make the listing, but they're only one per pack and we usually only do that with our fancy pants pieces. And then this looks like maybe a platinum finish, but I will confirm again when I make your listing. But both of these are really well detailed. They're three dimensional, super cute little pine cones. I like those a lot. And I thought these were fun, just some little chandeliers and I like to use these sometimes to do like a one to three strand necklace but some like bigger beads leading up to the top loop and then like three smaller strands in the middle or sometimes I just make earrings with them either way they're fun pieces you've got these little suns these are cute I like those and some moons these are so sparkly. They've got a little rhinestone star. It's a nice, nice little crystal there. Very sparkly. And let's see, these are kind of a blue. I think we've got, yeah, we've got a couple more colors too. We've also got like a crystal AB here, which is kind of yellowish. Very sparkly. You can see that. Sparkly little star. And then we also have this kind of like lavender pink sort of purpley. It looks like a like a pink opal kind of purpley. I don't know. One of them looks a little pink and one of them looks a little more purple, but they they do coordinate as well. It's just like got a multicolor finish on it. And those are really sweet. I love those. Just so sparkly. All right, we've also got some really nice laser cut stainless steel pieces. These are the gold version, um, I think we've had this, we've had the silver of these before, I recognize it. Just a nice little vine shape, rectangle with a little vine shape cut out. And this one comes with a chain, which I was not expecting, but there you go. It's a little butterfly. And it's got a lot of laser cut details, I'll put it down there so you can see. And then it comes with this little stainless steel, it's not super long, looks like maybe 14, 15 inches, kind of choker length-ish. Little chain there. You can easily take it off. It's just attached with jump rings. But thought that was interesting. Wasn't really expecting that. Nice little bonus. Ooh, I love this piece. So this is a laser cut stainless steel little star focal with a loop on each side. 
That's really cute. I like that a lot. And got a few lotus pieces. These are like round with lotus links. Again, I think they show up a little better on the white, so I'll put them down there. Very cute. And we also have teardrops with the lotus accents. And we have them in two different sizes. And they're sold two per bag. So we have those. And then these are a little bit just, no, those are the same size. Sorry, we have two different finishes. Grab the wrong thing. Here we are. Getting myself confused. We also have this rainbow iris. Look at that. That's what I was looking for. So we've got the, um, the classic stainless steel, and then we've got them in rainbow iris as well. Make a little room for them over here. Ooh, and we have this piece in three different finishes. Got the stainless steel. It's like kind of a sunburst. And it's really interesting how it's got the loops kind of out at the side. You can make a cute little necklace with a chain. Here, you can see what I'm talking about. Loop on each side. And we have that piece in gold finish. And also rainbow iris. <laughs> oh, no, what am I saying? Rose gold. It's rose gold, not rainbow. So yeah, rose gold, gold, and then classic stainless steel. And then finally, we have this piece in the rainbow iris finish too. And I was hoping these would come a little earlier in the year. You can't really see it there. Here we go. Um, but I'm happy we got them in. They're just very sweet little, little tiny coral branch on a little round link. And you do get two per pack. I've just sent one out so they'll be a little simpler to put away. All right, so those are some of the fun pendants and charms we have coming this week. Next, I'm going to show you some of our machine sort check, and then we have some gorgeous check strands too. So we have some really pretty machine sorted check glass this week as well. We've got some of these gorgeous bicones. You get a bunch in this bag. Look at that. So these have a pink... Um, nice little pink luster finish on those here are some in the aztec gold finish they're gorgeous and then we also have silver and it looks like a jet luster those are nice i like that luster and yeah you get a bunch of pieces i believe that's a 10 gram bag we also have these cute little bell flowers. Look at those. These are a little bit smaller than the um, 10 piece per bag ones we looked at earlier. And you get, it looks like around 20 ish pieces, a little over most likely. We also have some nice four millimeter rounds. We have some of like a blue luster. Look at that, that's gorgeous. I'm put them back in the bag because they will roll everywhere. We have this great gold color. It's like a gold shimmer over a crystal base. Really pretty. Ooh, and then we have this like opaque turquoise and crystal swirl with an AB finish on it. Those are lovely. And these are all, I believe, five gram bags. And one of the benefits of machine sorting is that it is much less labor intensive, so it tends to be less expensive. And we pass those savings right on to you. We have these cute little flower spacers, and these can be very expensive, but we got a great deal and we are passing it on. Look at that. It's like that. It looks like, like a Lila Vega type luster there. And then we've also got, now this I think is the ginger pink. Because you've got that light pink and almost Picasso y look. Those are so cute. These make great little spacers. You get a bunch in this pack. Just really, really pretty. Little forget me not flowers. 
We do have another style of the bell flowers too. This is like an ivory glass with a rose gold finish. So pretty. And again, you get a bunch more than I'm putting out. I'm just trying to leave room for everything we've got here. because we've got quite a bit. We have these beautiful, these absolutely stunning um, fire polish teardrops. And these are like a deep blue zircon with a bronze finish. Look at that. And you get about, let's see, 5, 10, about 15 per bag, which is a pretty good number. These are pricey fire polish. It takes some extra steps to make. And um, so I was very excited to find them at this price. And this is the Blue Zircon with a Picasso finish, or maybe a travertine. They look similar on this blue. Again, I will make sure I check my shipment manifest to get the right the right terms up there when I'm listing these. I'm kind of just going through at a quick pace right now. Ooh, these are really pretty. These little pink opal. Love that. All right, we also have some more of these fancy rounds in the six millimeter size. And these are fun. They're just a little bit more visual interest than a basic round. You've got like, it sort of looks like a semi-faceted shape, a little twisty, a little swirly. It's just a lot of fun. And we've got some great fall colors here in this kind of gold finished, like it looks like an orange. Here's the, here's the orange, this is like a deeper color. Sometimes it's hard to tell what the base color is and that's where I'm gonna have to consult my chart and look at that. So we also have, these are not exactly the same thing, these cute little turquoise, they call this a snail bead. It's like a little snail shell swirl. It's just a really vivid, pretty uh, turquoise and I believe these are vintage. Um, and they've got a little bit of like a Lila Vega or bronze type luster on them that adds some visual interest. Just some really pretty colors for fall. There. We have some fun, like, nuggety shapes. These are neat. These have, um, this is one of those cases where the names for the finish and the way that the finishes are layered um, doesn't always make sense. For the final product, this is actually a red luster, but when you apply it on the black bead, it looks very, very green. So that is technically how they make these, but it definitely looks like a metallic green and not a red. Even though technically that's what it is. These are fun, these are vintage, vintage chips. And look at that stunning orange silk. Like I just, you don't really see that color anymore and it's incredible. So I was very happy that we were able to get some more vintage check in. Because again, that is kind of a limited resource. Once it's gone, it is gone. And these also are vintage and you've got this lovely like orange red. And these I think are a restock. I think we had these in our last shipment. I basically told me send, or told them, send me more of everything that you can. And same for these little vintage chip shapes in that vivid, vivid coral red. Just lovely again, great fall colors, really pretty. Put those there. And then also we have more of these um, vintage little rice beads and you do get a ton in each bag. Like that's quite a lot, it's 10 grams and they're really small so it's a high piece count. These I believe are the Lila Vega Luster those in carefully and we also have the crystal with a blue luster we have the like champagne -y luster here and um oh this is pretty this is that rose gold topaz and then we've got a couple matte colors we have this like matte jonquil with the ab finish and then also the matte smoky topaz with the AB finish on it too. So lots of pretty check glass coming up. 
and strands. I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna take a look at the strands we have coming this week. Okay, so to start out, we have some incredible cathedral bead strands coming in. These are gorgeous. They're like a rainbow iris finish over a crystal bead with an AB shine. So they're just so shiny and subtle, but also multicolor and really fun. These are all gonna be a six millimeter size. They average about 19 pieces a strand. So, and I'm showing you two of each because some of them have some variation and I just kind of want you to get an idea. These are lovely. These are really pretty. It looks like an amethyst glass with um, like a Picasso finish on those ends there. And cathedral beads are great because you've got the fire polished facet, but then you've also got this detail. It looks like each bead has its own bead caps on it already. You've got really, really gorgeous, fancy look with cathedral glass. And these always go fast, so if you see some that you like, make sure to grab them. They'll probably be up Friday. Um, they are still going through the photo studio, but yeah, we're doing our best to get them done this week. Got these great um, amethyst again, but these have like that vintage silver on them, or that antique silver, sorry. These, are, these particular strands are not vintage. These are newer. Um, this is a light sapphire with like that purpley bronze luster. Really, really gorgeous. These are so pretty. These are a deep blue and aqua mix, like a dark sapphire and aqua swirl together. And then they've got, it looks like a Picasso or a travertine on them. I sometimes struggle to tell the difference between those um, because they appear similar on that blue color. You have some aqua with a bronze purpley luster. And then these are blue zircon with, again, it looks like a Picasso. But it might be a travertine, they're very similar. I will get the correct name on the listing. So these are really pretty. They're like a mint and white swirl. And then they've got like this really nice little silvery, uh, silvery cap on them, or rather silvery detail. That mint color is so lovely. And these are the same mint, but this time they have Picasso on them, which can show you just how different the same glass can look with two different finishes. I like that swirled mint though. That's really nice. Ooh, these are fun. These are a light sapphire with like a, it looks like sort of a stone finish, but it also goes all the way up through the bead hole. So it gives them like that inside color look to them. Those are cool. They almost look green because you've got that light brown mixed with the blue sapphire. That's really different. Very fun. We've got two different colors of red here. You've got like the more the ruby red and then the darker, not quite, more like a dark ruby than a garnet, but I don't know, I'll have to look at the numbers. It might be a garnet. It might just look lighter because it's got the, the uh, travertine cap on it. We have these beautiful swirled almond and topaz color with the purpley bronze finish. And these are stunning, this pink opal with that silver. Look at that. Really, really gorgeous. Those are nice. We've got some vintage pink with the vintage pink being the color. It's like Rosalind, but a little more on the, just a little bit of topaz to it also. And then it's got that Picasso finish on it too. And then some crystal with rose gold. Very delicate, very nice. Okay, so all these gorgeous cathedral beads. We have a few other kinds of glass coming too. I'm gonna just push these up a bit so I have some room to show you got these faceted rondelles and these are so nice this is like that blue luster super pretty the lazure blue I believe is what it's called and I might be mispronouncing that because I've only ever read it um and then these are fun these are like a silver with a rainbow iris too look how sparkly 
very, very pretty. And then we also have a larger rondelle, which is a emerald green with a copper, like a copper um, shimmer on top. Very pretty. Again, very sparkly, super fun for fall. I love the green and the copper together. Got a couple of different kinds of bicones. We've got the metallic purple, and then also these are a mixed metallic strand. So super fun. Now we do actually have some vintage Trek strands too, and these are a little bit longer than our typical strands. So first of all, we have these eight millimeter cathedral beads in teal with a Picasso accent. Very pretty. And we've got a couple of, well, it's the same. We've got this top drilled. I believe this is the only color we actually received this strand in. These little top drilled dagger beads in a light olivine with a really pretty Picasso on it. And then we have a bunch of different colors of these um, hex beads. So they're a little hexagon. They are um, double drilled. So they are drilled at the top and bottoms and you can use them for fun bead weaving designs. Lots of different options you can make with those. And this is like a light gray luster here. And then we also will have them in a Picasso finish. I'm trying to get this to lay nicely. It does not want to. That one's strung a little tight. There we go. And then the champagne luster and also a pink. This looks like that um, rose gold topaz luster. So these definitely are fun. They give a lot of design options for like bead weaving as well. Lots you can do with those. Okay, so that is pretty much everything we're working on this week. Again, you'll see some of them on the website today, um, Monday the 2nd. Happy Labor Day, by the way. And we're going to be working on these all week long and um, probably moving through, start with the, probably start with the check, move through the pendants and stuff, the machine check, and then you'll see check strands again probably Friday. So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had a great long weekend and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day today. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And again, you'll find all of these at our website, hopefully by Friday the 6th at beatboxbargains.com. Thanks so much for watching and happy beating.